Vortex generators are boundary layer control devices. As seen in the image, they are essentially small vanes attached to an aerodynamic surface, such as a plane wing or a car roof. The purpose of vortex generators is to delay local flow separation, as well as to delay a stall condition. Vortex generators are a simple cost-effective method to increase the effectiveness and efficiency of an aerodynamic surface. The most common method uses vanes, which are placed at alternating angles in order to create a pressure differential. The vanes that are facing outward have a greater volume of air flowing through a smaller area, resulting in a slower air velocity and a high pressure zone. The vanes facing inward have a smaller volume of air flowing over a greater area, resulting in a higher air velocity and a low pressure zone. The high pressure zone then causes the air to flow over top the vein tip, which in turn results in a vortex. In order to get a better picture of how a vortex generator actually works, we can use flow design to simulate one inside of a virtual wind tunnel. Here you can clearly see how the low and high pressure regions cause vortex generation, where the two regions meet and the air flows around the tip. But how do vortex generators delay flow separation? Well, when something flows around a curved surface, it wants to try and follow the surface around. When the flow is able to do this, it is said to be attached to the surface. Due to the forces of friction, flow nearer to the surface moves slower than that of flow farther away from it, with the velocity of the points touching the surface being zero. As the flow travels along the length of the surface, a high pressure wake is formed, as can be seen here. Flow against increasing pressure is what is known as an adverse pressure gradient. Eventually the flow is slowed down so much so by the increasing pressure, it starts to travel in the reverse direction closer to the surface. This reversal of flow causes it to separate from the surface, forming various eddies or vortices, and leads to turbulent flow. A vortex generator is able to mix the faster moving upper region of the boundary layer with the slower moving lower region. As some of the slower moving boundary layer is removed, local flow separation is delayed, leading to a decrease in pressure drag and stall conditions at lower speeds. As for the impact on the next generation of aircraft, vortex generators, as we previously discussed, have the effect of reducing the stalling speed of an aircraft, which in turn allows for an increase in maximum takeoff weight. By re decreasing flow separation, Vortex generators allow aircraft to fly at lower and higher speeds without stall, as compared to aircraft without vortex generators. Also seen with single-engine airplanes, this decrease in flow separation allows for a lower output needed during the climbing portion of an aircraft's flight, which allows for the maximum takeoff weight that I previously mentioned. Now, what this all means for the future of aircraft is that more reliable short takeoff and landing aircraft, such as the one shown here, are possible, as with vortex generators, flow stays attached at higher angles of attack and lower speeds. Additionally, this is seen on high speed supersonic aircraft, as vortex generators additionally allow for a delay in high speed stall, which can have an impact on the effectiveness of future supersonic aircraft. As air moves across a shockwave of a supersonic aircraft, the air loses energy and causes flow separation. Seen here on the Concorde, these vortex generators mix high energy air into the boundary layer and prevent flow separation, as seen here. These vortex generators can also reduce the impact of energy loss by disrupting the shockwave. As you can see here on the right side, this is a supersonic tail without vortex generators where flow separation is high due to shockwaves due to supersonic flight. Whereas on the left side, the tail with vortex generators, the high pressure air is being reintroduced back into the boundary layer, allowing a decrease in flow separation and thus higher speeds of supersonic flights. In all, for the future of air travel, vortex generators allow for the design and increased effectiveness of faster aircraft and short takeoff and landing aircraft that have increased flow and an improvement in stalling conditions as compared to those without vortex generators.